Happy holidays, lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Thirsty. Today I have a couple sodas for you that I'm going to try, and they were sent to me by a company called Hot Lips. Ba-doom. So Hot Lips is based out in Portland, Oregon, and they sent me a couple of these sodas for me to try and give you my opinion. So thanks, Hot Lips. Mary and Berry, which sounds delicious. It looks a lot like a blackberry. Raspberry as well. Each deliciously refreshing bottle of Hot Lips begins with fresh picked fruit at its peak from family farms in the Pacific Northwest. Bright and juicy, our all-natural raspberries flecked with bits of sweet pulp paired with soft, smooth bubbles. Sounds good. The bottles have been chilled, but I also have some ice because I like my soda on ice. The ingredients for the Marionberry are Marionberry from Sandy Farms in Boring, Oregon, <laughs> cane sugar, and organic li lemon juice. And I don't mean tinsel organers. It really is from Boring, Oregon. See? See? <laughs> Alright, so let's give the Marionberry a try. So, I think Marionberry is just a type of, kind of a type of blackberry. Hello, postal carrier. We've gotten some snow. She's she's a doll. and <laughs> I see her every day. No matter what the weather is, rain or shine, she's always out there with her back. She's wonderful. Really old bottle opener. Mmm, smells good. It smells kind of lemony. And let's give it a pour. Ooh, look at that beautiful color. And immediately I noticed it has, a, besides the color, it has a very different kind of viscosity. Not like a typical soda. Uh, it seems a bit thicker. All right, Marionberry, here's to you. Hmm. That's not bad. It's very, very lightly fizzy. Hardly at all fizzy, actually. And I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there are little pulp bits of pulp. It has definitely more juice, a higher juice to soda ratio than a spritzer. So I'd say almost more like juice than a soda. I can definitely taste the fruit, and it's actually quite sweet. I was expecting, I was hoping it would be more kind of tart and tangy and punchy, but it's actually pretty sweet. Almost kind of jammy but pretty good. Very natural tasting. Um, just sweeter than I expected to be. Raspberry. Real fruit soda raspberry. So give it a little shake. This one smells similar. And here, let's give it a pour. Ooh. Again, a very pretty color. Here's the raspberry, and here's the marionberry. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. Come by. It's good, I like it. Again, a very kind of light effervescence, very natural raspberry flavor. Doesn't at all taste artificial. And doesn't have a drop of that artificial raspberry smell. It's, it's very refreshing. Refreshing literally, as a refreshing soda. And refreshing metaphorically as well, because so much soda is just artificial flavorings and colorings, and you kind of get used to that stuff. It's refreshing to be reminded what an actual raspberry tastes like. Again, I wish it was a little bit tangier. It's pretty sweet. It does call itself a soda. So if it's going after soda clientele, then exactly right. But for me, I would like something a little bit more, a little tangier, a little punchier, but good. And maybe a little bit more bubbles, a little more assertive in the bubbles, but I really like my drinks fizzy, so whatever. I, I drink cases of seltzer water because I just love fizzy water. I don't even put anything in it. I just like it fizzy. So maybe I'm a fizzy water addict. <laughs> Between the two, I like the color of the Marionberry better, but I think I actually like the flavor of the raspberry better. When you're in the mood for something fruity and fizzy, check them out. Thanks Hot Lip Soda for sending that along, appreciate it. And thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you learned something. And I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Cheers, bye. So these are Lay's Tetsi So I'm excited to try that. Where do fruit flies come from? I, it's not surprising to me that in medieval days, people thought flies and maggots were spontaneously generated. I mean, where the heck do they come from? Do they, do they, are the eggs like sitting on my bananas? 
are, are, are they are they sitting in my strawberries? That's gross. Well, I guess it's good protein.